Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate those likes and subscribes. Anybody who already has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. I have many different options. If you would like to enter to win a $125, which will be drawn today and announced tomorrow, August 31st, and announced on the 1st, today is the last day to enter, you can like, subscribe, and enter a blessing in the comment section. But if you're doing well for yourself, let's pass this on to our friends and family that could use that extra come up and to everybody who has not been entering to win because you are doing good for yourself or you are doing uh, well for yourself. Um, I appreciate you because the people who are entering to win, I am hoping to be able to make some kind of little difference in their week. With that being said, everybody is welcome to enter to win a free half hour FaceTime reading by liking subscribing and entering reading we are reading for the weekend energy what is coming towards us this beautiful and blessed weekend I do have some energy already pulled out just to save time third house here your house of perception um, for some of you you could be dating something could come up over the weekend with one of your siblings you could be going out with a sibling a lot of discussions a lot of uh, communication over the weekend you may be really feeling extra chatty spend an hour on the phone with an old friend or uh, get communication from somebody you haven't spoke to in a while over the course of the next few days here Mars energy desire strength now mars energy can be um a little passionate angry um, for most of you i am hoping that this is just excitement your sex drive you may um go out and have a little fun this weekend and get some sexual healing it just depends really on where you are in life for some of you you have the desire to do something or to be with somebody or to start dating and um, this weekend could bring just that now message from your higher self divine timing as spirits the desire to learn to grow and create is deep and fueled by a strong yearning to transform and evolve However, learning and creating takes time. The process of learning involves many steps forward, missteps, setbacks, and leaps. We must apply what we have learned so we can see the experience real and experience real growth within ourselves. During this process, we must be patient and have compassion for ourselves and forgive others. The process of creating what we desire is the same. We must come up with the idea device the steps to work towards it and then act similarly the process requires patience since there will be unforeseen situations and hurdles your higher self requests patience as you learn create and grow if you're currently encountering obstacles and hurdles then your higher self is simply rerouting you a better direction and pointing you to a more appropriate abundant des destination Avoid rushing through the process or you'll likely make unnecessary mistakes and potentially interfere with the universe's plan for you, which could have adverse effects. Trust in the timing that the universe has set out for you. You will reach your desired goal and your destination once all the necessary pieces fall into place. So yesterday we had a big message about divine timing and again, your higher self reminding you, Scorpio, that everything happens exactly when it's supposed to, not before and not after we um, are always learning growing and for some of you if you're trying to create something if you're trying to start something um, or maybe you are on your healing journey from a breakup um, and you just want it to go away you just want it to stop you can't stand it anymore your higher self is reminding you that it is one step at a time that you cannot rush the journey there are lessons in pain there are lessons in mistakes and um if you've made some mistakes in life like we all have that was then how can you be better and how can you learn from them that's where your focus should be not on dwelling ruminating or um, beating yourself up be kind to yourself over the weekend here you may have the desire to start something do something you know we are under this beautiful blue full moon energy 
which can really be intense right now for you. Um, really great time for release. Do a release ritual tonight. Write everything out, all the emotions, all the fears, everything that no longer serves you. And write it down, say a prayer, and burn it. Put it back out there into the ethers. Send it out. For some of you, you may want to actually, I'm putting a um, gallon of water out in, in the moonlight and I'm going to water my house plants with it. That's a really great way to harness that energy because I love my plants and, um, you know, I'm going to harness this energy of the full moon and keep it with me for a while with some moon water. You may want to make some moon water and make some tea. That's another great way when you are writing out everything you would like to uh, release uh, you know, drinking some tea from moon water. With that being said, let's get into this. Spirit, tell me why Mars energy for Scorpio over the course of the next few days, over the weekend. Why Mars energy? You're a leader. You're stepping into a leadership role, knowing your self-worth, your value here, using logic and emotions, sweeping up your life, cleaning up your life, financial blessings, your abundance arrives here, rewards for your effort. A lot of you, you over the course of the next few days, you're going to be feeling um, like a leader. You're going to take the lead here in some project or some area of your life where you are uh, really feeling a lot of excitement and strength. For some of you, you have something coming up that's just going to make you feel alive again in your work or a project or an idea that comes to you that's divinely guided. I've said this so many times, but for years, I would say I have books, I have journals of writing. I was trying to figure out what it was that I should do. Even though I have read tarot for a long time, um, I would do it for people around me. Um, you know, I wasn't so sure I wanted to go this route because I want to become a, a coach. But as I've been along my journey here, I have found that, yes, I want to become a tra transformational coach as I always have, but now I am studying to be a breakup coach because I have... Um, pretty much fell into that role in my life for a lot of people. With that being said, sometimes it just takes a step forward. You'll figure it out as you go. You'll tweak it as you go. You'll get better ideas or a better understanding. So if there's something you want to do, take that leadership role in your life, Scorpio, because you will have a financial blessing come in because of it. For some of you, you're very good communicators. You are very articulate and you can um, speak to a lot of people. You are a natural born leader and the divine is asking you to do just that. Over the course of the next few days, you perhaps want to take the lead, even if it's just in your community or even if it's just in your family. Clean up your house, declutter your mind, simplify. Right now is a great time to cleanse and clean your home. Um, every weekend, I do just that. I walk around. I sit. I salt my doors. I mop sometimes um, with a little cinnamon and a little salt. I, I clear out all the energy that's in my home because of what I do. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't do that as well. Now, maybe not every week, but at least once a month, really cleansing and clearing your home environment, making sure there's not a lot of clutter, making sure that um, you feel secure and safe in your home. I've been really doing a lot of study studying on feng shui because um, I find it so fascinating. And so for a lot of you, you may want to get a plant. You may want to get flowers. Do something to bring freshness and a high vibe into your home. Tell me, Spirit, what is this leadership role Scorpio stepping into over the course of the next few days, please? We are going to um, get a vibe on finances and a vibe on love. Uh, as well. Some of you are thinking about traveling, maybe even relocation. You're in a very masculine energy, a very action-oriented energy. For some of you, there's a lot of male influence in your life or there's somebody who's going to influence you or give you a lot of inspiration, um, a, a man in your life. Uh, you could have a brother. Siblings over the weekend could really uh, have a lot of you know, there, there could be a lot going on with siblings over the weekend as well. For some of you, though, you have a masculine energy that uh, you want to take the lead with. You, you may decide to reach out. 
you may embody a masculine energy and reach out to somebody um, over the course of the next few days because um, you're, you've decided to take action towards this person. It just really depends on where you are here on your journey, Scorpio. Tell me about cleaning up, sweeping away negative situations. Please, Spirit, for a lot of you, you're sweeping away any negativity in your life because you're getting your mojo back. You're getting your happiness back. You're tired of being in the Two of Swords energy. You're tired of being confused. For some of you, the reason why you're confused is there's a lot of um, negative energy around you in your home, in your mind. You may really want to start listening to some healing frequencies, doing some breathing techniques so you can connect to your higher self as well. Getting your fire back here. Scorpio, being a witchy woman or man, knowing exactly where it is you are going and feeling empowered and sexy while you do it. I feel over the course of the next few days, really, really empowering energy I'm, I'm feeling. For some of you, you may be dealing with a Leo or you may have a Leo in your life that is very important to you, a sibling or um, a child. I feel that this weekend is going to bring a lot of, of feelings of leadership and and blessings For some of you you could have some kind of blessing come in over the weekend moving on to money have the courage to ask ask and accept help scorpio if you need help from somebody yeah organize for success this is the thing for some of you your home's a little crowded we all get we all can drag in things that don't belong um, you may still have things from your ex that's keeping an energetic tie that needs to be cleansed out of your home it's important to get everything um, of this person out of your home if you feel like you're still picking up on this person's energy leadership bottom of the deck I'm telling you a lot of you here over the course of the next few days you are going to decide to take the lead in one area or another in your life but you are being guided to declutter your mind your home your workspace if you are looking to start some side gig, find an area in your home to set up as your office so you can feel inspired when you're there. A place where you can put everything you need and you can stay focused and organized there. Sometimes just doing that, having a workspace in your home um, will allow you to, to be a bit more motivated opposed to everything being crazy and, and sitting on the couch trying to do this while the kids are jumping and the dogs barking. Find a space in your home that you can sit and focus and really get yourself organized. Sorry, baby. Tell me about money, Spirit, over the course of the next few days, please. Weekend energy. Tell me about money and career. For some of you, you may be thinking about starting a uh, catering business is a message that I'm getting. Something here uh, like that, like a food service or, or something. Um, I love to cook, so I would love to. I I'll, I would love to do something like that. I I really would if I had the time. You could be a mechanic. You could be working on crafts, selling your crafts. A talent. See, a talent is just waiting for you to be express with your hands. You can easily fix your finances with a little friction. For some of you, you work in um in automotive repair or you do something like this mend what needs mending it might be broken now but it is not all lost start a small business at home by creating novelties with your hands and past mistakes left you financially insecure and you keep yourself stuck sweetheart there are mistakes that have been made but you will learn from them in your finances you will learn and grow and you will learn how to become a boss in your life if you allow yourself to let go of the regret maybe you made some mistakes in the past who hasn't maybe you made some bad financial choices step in line we all have or at least i can i can step in that line with you but when you start just making little tiny tweaks, do you have um, a bunch of stupid things coming out of your account? Are you spending more money um, than you should because you're emotionally spending? Where are there ways that you can start um, really getting your budget balanced to be able to t take 10 to $20 a week to start saving so you're not living paycheck to paycheck? Um, an extra $10, $20 a week to start saving adds up over time. Maybe you don't have a lot to save, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't save five dollars do something to start building up your finances again opposed to buying that um you know starbucks put that money uh back so you can start building yourself up again tell me about money and finance spirit over the weekend and then we're moving into love beautiful 
for a lot of you here, you could have communication coming in about a job, about a promotion, about an offer from a feminine energy. For some of you, spirit is asking you to be patient, stay balanced, and temperance. Divine timing here. Um, again, there's something that's going to come about in divine timing that you may have an offer come in. Uh, communication here in the Eight of Wands. For a lot of you, though, something's going to move a lot faster than you think once you get started. You're going to be sitting pretty here, male or female, in the Queen of Pentacles. This is nurturing. This is loving. This is I'm in my bag. I have everything I need. I have everything I want. I don't need a motherfucking thing or a motherfucking person. And um, I will feed you if you need me to feed you. I will give you loving because I have enough inside me and around me to do that. A lot of you have some kind of offer coming in for you in money and finances, and you may not even realize how fast things will move. So let's move on to love. <clears throat> Spirit, give us the goods, please. Tell me what is coming for my beautiful, sexy, handsome Scorpio's weekend energy spirit. What is it? What is coming for my beautiful, sexy, handsome Scorpio's? Oh boy, I can't get away from it. I really can't. Returning. Somebody could be returning to your life. I don't want to read past energy all the time. I hate, I don't want to have the same damn message. But I can't help it. What I channel is what I channel. For some of you, there's somebody around you and in love that's having negative thoughts about you. I've just received a message and quick replies I, I, that um, you may have started dating somebody too soon after a breakup and you're just not feeling it. You're just not into it. And this person is now having negative feelings about you. Um, that's why it's important to not start dating before you're ready because you may have bled all over them. And if you have, all you can do is try to be better from it. I feel like there could be someone around you having negative thoughts, um, but love will win. Yeah, there's gossip. This could be your past person. Somebody's putting thoughts in their head. Over the weekend, you could be out in the community and they could be putting something in your face here. A third party could be the one having negative thoughts about you uh, and trying to put something in your face on social, um, in the community, gossiping, putting things in this person's head. If you're in the middle of a love triangle and your person is now currently with a third party, there's a lot of negative emotions and energy about that. There's reminders of you everywhere, though, and love will win. Love will win, but that doesn't mean you have to reconnect. It means don't give up on love. This person could have ghosted you. They were a daredevil. Incoming call coming. For some of you, you're receiving a phone call over the weekend from this person. You could have found out that they were gossiping and they were talking a whole lot of shit on you, and, and you are not down for it. This is somebody you caught doing something they shouldn't be doing. Now, for some of you, the message I'm receiving is you're having an affair or you were having an affair and it, you cut it off and this person may be coming back, but be careful because if a third party caught them before, they will catch them again is the message that I'm getting. Tell me about this caught energy. What Scorpio, you seem to have caught this person doing something or a third party caught them doing something with you and now there's some negative feelings and thoughts this person's in a lot of regret but they're in their self node clinging to things that no longer serve them here you've put them into some big transformation pluto energy here scorpionic energy a lot of regret and repression this person really hurt you um whatever you caught them doing it, it's it's something here that that's very unhealthy they're clinging to unhealthy habits and things i feel like you could have caught them doing something or a third party could have caught them and then they ghosted you caused a lot of confusion neptune energy a lot of illusions here i feel your ancestors your spirit guides are standing beside you you're receiving dream messages from this person Th third day in a row that we are picking up something about your dreams for some of you you're not remembering your dreams um but you're receiving messages in your dreams from your ancestors and guides or from this person that ghosted you tell me what in your face is for some of you you're going to see that someone changed their profile pic to them together 
or something like this. They change their status online. It's your twin. This person's in lack, in doubt. They, they know they have to change. They, they, they're just very doubtful. I feel like for a lot of you, this person could be trying to hurt you because they want to return. There is going to be a rebirth here over the winter time. Um, right now, uh, well, again, we have reunion and facade. False beliefs here. This person has false beliefs about relationships. They listen to other people and what other people are telling them. They're being um, told things about you. There's gossip. People are telling them to leave you, that you're crazy, that you're this. For some of you, the messages that you've done black magic, that you're a user. I don't know, Scorpio. All sorts of things, I feel, uh, has been said because of this negative um, energy. I've made up my mind. I'm not wasting any more time. But Spirit's saying, make them prove it, that this person is angry and um, you're being asked is it worth the wait is this connection worth the wait if I don't get what I want from you then I will get it from someone else your love has captured me everywhere I look I see your face Scorpio I see you everywhere I can't get you can't mind people are telling me negative things are telling me not to come back are telling me that it will never work etc but I, I miss you soon yeah wow well. And this person, I'm going to contact you soon. Twin flame, bottom of the deck. And I'm single right now. I'm not attached to anyone and not looking to get into a relationship at this time. This is what this person may come in and tell you. I miss you, Scorpio. I do, but I don't want to be attached right now. I've just left a third party. I want to be on my own for a while. But can we have sex? Seriously, can we be friends? And friends means, you know, let me let me come in here and get some of that sexual healing from you, Scorpio, as I run right back out the door. I would be very careful with this person, especially if you have caught them do, doing something or if they got, in, they got caught having an affair with you. There's a lot of things that could be going on behind the scenes that this person is not making you aware of, of what others are saying. For some of you, what's going to be in your face is you're going to find out they left a third party. They're going to change their relationship status online. Tell me who is having negative thoughts about Scorpio. Who is this having negative thoughts, please? Again, for some of you, it's someone you blocked. For some of you, it's somebody that you didn't want to be with. It's not your twin. It's somebody you started dating shortly after your breakup. You just weren't ready. And so you ended up blocking them and not wanting to talk to them. And now they're having negative thoughts. For others here, it's somebody that blocked you. This person seems to be really going round and round in their mind. They're having negative thoughts about you. I feel like they blocked you after you put up healthy boundaries. They, they are nine of swords, nine of wands. This is a wounded person that's not sleeping well at all very foolish person it could be an Aquarius or a Leo here Scorpio I feel this person's been holding their self back they're having negative thoughts um, they're thinking uh, you know you could have had to leave them Scorp because you found out what what they were up to and now they're angry at you for leaving and putting up strong boundaries and they're acting like a child this person seems to want to return, but for most of you here in this scenario, I'm not sure if you even want them back. Tell me about the returning, please. Um, they could be trying to uh, portray you and the community to be somebody you're not. Scorpio, Six of Wands energy, they want to look They want to look victorious. This is somebody that betrayed you, that put ten swords in your fucking back. A repeated betrayal. They seem to want to reach out in the page of wands. They want to say something to you. But I would be careful. I feel this person can be a bit two-faced. They tell uh, their friends and family one thing and then do another and make you out to be like the crazy one, you know. This is somebody here who acts that way. Like they only tell their half of the story. You know, Scorpio smashed my phone. They didn't say because I was talking to four different people. Um, or uh, they didn't say because I ghosted them for two days and didn't come home and you're married. Or something like this. Like they're that's what they're doing. They're trying to portray you to be the bad one mm -mm -mm. tell me about um spirit saying there may be a tower coming y'all mars energy i was a little concerned about that that's why i was hesitant to go into love but for some of you you could have a tower moment coming over the next few days tell me about the tower please yeah six of 
Six of Cups energy. It could have something to do with your kids or this person may come back in um, here and, and return. And it's going to bring a tower. You could see something online too, really. Or you could hear from this person's uh, third party over the course of the next few days. I feel, Scorpio, um, whoever this is coming in and returning, for some of you, you could have words with a third party online. Or this person is definitely your ex here in the Queen of Swords. Um, male or female. This person's embodying a feminine energy right now. For some of you, this is definitely someone you've had a completion with. They want to come back in and it seems to be bringing a tower. For some of you, they're not coming back in in a great energy. It's not going to be a very good energy. They're coming in angry for one reason or another. Love bombing. They're emotionally manipulating and they want your attention. What is the tower, please? See, guys, when I say something, it's because I was guided to say something. This person wants to have a friends with benefits situation with you. They want to come in. They want to keep your attention. They want they want your sexual healing. They feel a lot of happiness when they're with you. They feel a lot of joy, but it doesn't seem that they want to come in in a um, consistent energy. Definitely here, uh, an intense soul connection between the two of you. I would be careful if this person comes back wanting to to hook up, wanting to um, connect, it's because they're craving your sexual energy is the message that I'm getting. They're craving you. It's very healing for them to make love to you. And this person may be coming in just for that, only to run right back out the door. This is definitely your twin. <laughs> I'm haunted by my decisions and memories we've made together. It doesn't matter how far I run. My heart always comes back to you and uh, incomparable. No one has ever made me feel the way you do. You're irreplaceable. This person is all up in their head. They're losing it. They're feeling like they're losing it. They're feeling like they can't stop thinking of you. They're starting to have negative feelings, though, because um, you put up healthy boundaries. And this person's pissed that they can't run in and out of your life anymore. So now they're obsessing. They've been lost in time. But Spirit's saying the answer lies in the newness. That there will be showers of blessings right now. Um, for some of you, it's been since March since you've heard from this person. Or they were born in March. But you must know where you're going and get clear on your desire, sweetheart. Get clear on what it is you want. Spirit's asking you. Because you can manifest this back. But I don't know if it will be in the manner that you want it. It looks to me like it will be more as a friend or a friend with benefits. How will this end? For those Scorpios who want reconnection, how will this end, Spirit, please? See, you all feel safe together. Your twin feels safer being friends first before getting intimate. Learn to enjoy the present moment and discover your place full side. See, again, my guides are confirming what I'm telling you. This person wants to come in, but they want to stay friends. They want to rebuild your friendship. For some of you, they're actually sincere. For others, they just want to have sex. They don't want to lose that. Meeting in an unexpected place when you're both not expecting to meet is normally how you meet a soulmate. Prepare for the unexpected. For some of you, you may run into this person. They may be right in your face over the course of the next um, few days. And it's incredibly hard to uh, deny a, your twin when they're right in your face. It takes a lot of strength. So whatever happens here, um, stay with your eyes wide open uh, in reality don't romanticize and see it how see it for what it is and if you still decide that you want to just be friends with benefits that you're okay with that then cool but know that this person wants some kind of friendship love it i wish you all the very best here these last two messages are just for you scorpio though it may seem not seem like it now you will accomplish far more than you ever could have imagined your story will have a happy ending i'm going to read this again though it may not seem like it now you will accomplish far more than you ever could have imagined your story will have a happy ending period uh end a story scorpio you will have a happy ending no matter what is going on right now no matter how much sadness 
no matter how much pain you have experienced or how many mistakes you have made or if you're sleeping on your mama's couch you will have a happy ending get right up here if you can't change anything today change that mindset tell me spirit what is the last and final message we can give our beautiful sexy handsome we have the penguin authentic reach out to your tribe in times of need family gives you strength when you face the storm love your uniqueness you are full of surprises break free from others expectations and just be yourself there's a lot about family siblings here um you know third house uh, family siblings oh well we have another one flipped over and i'm being guided to take it okay spirit the cougar assertive in silence you will find your power claim your leadership role and take action you know where to go and what to do you have the courage and confidence to succeed we're starting with leader and we're ending with leadership because your guides your angels your ancestors want you to know that if you stay authentic if you take the lead of your life you will have a happy ending and you will have a happy weekend nobody is going to tell you what it is that you should be doing or or where you should be going if this person is confused they're lost in time and they don't know what they want you don't have to sit around and wait you can make the decision for them and figure out what it is you actually want scorp nobody has the right to tell you how to live your life sweetheart and when you start standing in that leadership um energy that mars energy that i'm gonna do this i'm gonna accomplish this i am a winner say it scream it in the mirror all i do is win that's what i do i'm a winner i can't lose showers of blessings are about to come into my life showers of blessings are coming i can feel it a lot of you can feel something big coming for you I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day and a great weekend. Love and light.